I didn't know what had gone wrong. He wasn't very well. And um, I, what did I do? Did I ring for a doctor? Yes. I rang for the doctor, and the doctor came out, and he diagnosed, and he said I need him straight into hospital. And of course, he'd had this stroke. Care and repair got involved with us through the hospital and uh, through the occupational therapist. Um, before Bill was discharged, they came in with and they put a lifeline in. And they also came in and they did the outside, they did the steps front and back and handrails onto the door to help him in the house. And then they put handrails all up the stairs as well for him. I first met Bill when he was in the hospital. We'd had a referral from the occupational therapist. After about three weeks, I made an appointment to come and see him and it became apparent that Gwyneth, Bill's partner, wasn't going to be able to cope after the carers had left with bathing because they had a bath with a shower over it and he couldn't do that on his own and due to her health problems, she wasn't going to be able to help him and she was at a real low ebb then wondering what was going to happen. Once the occupational therapist had made that assessment, the work was carried out um, and that was all done within a couple of weeks and then that helped him, he gained his independence back that he could do this and obviously the stress was taken off Gwyneth. So I completed an attendance allowance form for both of them because they weren't claiming any benefits and they've just been awarded the high rate which is going to make a massive difference to the two of them especially now because Bill nor Gwyneth can drive and if they have hospital appointments or doctor's appointments it means that they have to have taxis or rely on family. Well it's made things a lot easier for us. I haven't got the stress and the strain like I had trying to do things for him, he could just, it's easy.